Oh, hi, welcome. If you are an oldie but goldie, come on in, get yourself comfy. We're in for a chaptastic old school video today. If you are new, my name is Louise Pentland. I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle. And today I'm going to be answering the questions you guys submitted on Instagram stories about my WW journey. So for those of you that don't know, WW used to be Weight Watchers, but it's now WW, Wellness That Works. And I have been an ambassador for them for the past 10 months. I started on the program in June and it's now March, almost April. So that is 10 months I have been doing this and loving it. Um, I told you about it in the autumn time because I wanted to spend a good chunk of time really understanding it, really getting to grips with it, really finding out all the bits and bobs about it before I sat in front of you and recommended something because I would never want to recommend something that I didn't wholeheartedly believe in myself. Uh, hopefully those of you that follow me a long time will know that. Um, but today I thought I would answer some of your questions because over the past 10 months I've been giving you little updates over on Instagram, my grid and stories and I have mentioned it a few times in weekly videos um, but I felt like this might be a better forum to have like a longer chat about it. I got a lot of questions. I got more, I knew I would get quite a few because over the last few months I've been seeing lots of them pop up but I didn't think it would be that many. So what I did was I read through them all, um, categorised them into five categories that I've noticed the majority of them fell into and they were cost, how it works, mentality, body positivity and food. And I've put food in capital letters because that was a big one. Um, and then I have selected a chunk of questions, I've written them all out, um, and hopefully I'll try and encompass um, everybody's topic so that everybody that submitted a question feels like, in one way or another, they've been answered. Um, in case you didn't see the first sort of like introductory video, which I will link below for you, um, I have been familiar with WW for a long, long time. I first tried it in 2008 or 2009. It was when I'd moved to Northampton, but before I had Darcy, so around that time. And I went to the meetings, it was weekly, it was always on a Tuesday night, um, and I really enjoyed it and actually made some good friends there and enjoyed the programme. But I found myself not sticking at it, and now I know it's the app that helps me. Like the app is, I'll get onto the app, but the app is what like keeps me going with it. Um, and I, I really saw good results with that. I really was feeling more energetic because I was getting that 3 p.m. slump. Like, I was getting that 3 p.m. slump before I had two children. You know, we get to the mid-afternoon, you start feeling a bit tired and it's because you haven't really, like, fueled your body properly. I was getting that. Um, and I really felt so much more energetic on it, so I liked it then. Um, I think I tried it again at some point with a friend of mine who had just had a baby, that was right, Nikki had her baby um, and I tried it again and then she kind of like stopped and then I sort of stopped and then whilst I was pregnant with Pearl I put on a lot of weight and this is something that didn't sit right with me because, not the weight but how I was feeling because of the weight I've always been a pretty body confident person. Um, if you have read my blog that I really have neglected for a long time now, I need to get that going again, or watched any of my videos, like body positivity and being body comfortable has always been a big thing for me. I'm a curvy lady, I'm like a size 16, 18, 20, um, and I think I got great. Um, I'm happy on red carpets, I'm happy on the school run, I really like all my clothes. And then when I was pregnant with Pearl, I was eating for 2,000 <laughs> and all of my nice clothes stopped fitting and you know when you just go past your comfort level, that's what happened to me. And I always want to stress the point to women and men as well that everybody has their own comfort level. So I would never look at a woman who was a size 22 and say, oh, you're too big or oh, you're too small. But for me, it was when I went past a size 22 that I started to feel uncomfortable in my own body. Now for some people, they would have gone past that point a lot sooner, and some people a lot later. Everybody's got their own threshold, um, and I fully respect everybody's uh, own body and their own opinions on it. But for me, that is where I thought, oh, I, I'm not actually feeling body confident anymore. I'm not feeling good. I was finding it quite hard to move about. I was getting out of breath a lot. And so towards the end of my pregnancy, I was telling Liam, I think that once I've had Pearl and I'm recovered and like ready, I'm gonna give WW a go. 
so perfect timing they contacted me i was like brilliant yes this is fantastic thank you universe you have heard my needs and here we are um so i was more than happy to give it a go and i have been really happy with how it's gone so um one of the biggest questions i get asked is how much weight have you lost i'm going to leave that to the end because for me this is about so much more than weight i can't i can't put enough weight behind that <laughs> uh, this is just about so much more than losing weight there's so many different ways to lose weight but this is the one that for me works because it encompasses my whole life and i'm really behind it so um i'll get crackalacking with your questions i've ordered them in a way that i hope kind of makes the video like make sense so i will get crackalacking with your questions and the first one comes from megan and that is how much does ww cost it is typically £21.45p per, per month for the subscription, but I do suggest you check online because they have different offers going, so it's definitely worth checking there. I'll leave a link for you below. I think that that cost is definitely worth what you get from it and what you get out of it. In terms of the service that you get, um, when you look at the groups and you look at the app, and oh my god, the app is amazing. <laughs> I'm such, like, such a lover of the app. Um, I'll talk about that more. Um, and when you consider what you are not going to be spending as much money on, you're probably not going to be having as many takeaways as I was having before, that's for sure, um, then it is worth it. Megan asks, how does WW work? Can you have a point-free meal or do all meals have points? So I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of WW, how I understand it, and I think I understand it quite well, I've been doing it for 10 months. Basically, you are given a set amount of points per day and that point value is based on your height, your weight and your sex. So for example, mine is around the 30 mark because I am five foot seven, I'm a woman and I am the weight that I am. And then every day I should be eating that amount of points. So all food has a points value and it's almost like budgeting. It's a bit like if I said to you, okay, you have got 50 pounds to spend for the day. This is what you need to buy and you would have to work out how to do it. You also get a weekly allowance of points, which I freaking love. So it is a bunch of points that you don't have to eat um, all in one day, or you could, you could have them all in one day, or you could be like, okay, great. I'm gonna divide that up. So I've got like a certain amount each day to eat. What I like to do is I save them up and then if I want to have like a takeaway or if I want to have wine or um, I want to have Minero, my god I love Minero, um, and I've already eaten my daily amount of points then I just use those um, and if you don't eat them that's okay but I do think that you should eat them and you still feel great if you've eaten them all and you still see the results you want to see so that's how that works to work out how much point value food is i use the app so let me get the app up on my phone so if you look just there there's a tiny little barcode thing there and then this pops up and what you do is you take some food ah oh, i wish i had like a packet or something here um and you scan the barcode and it tells you how many points it is it's amazing Back in the olden days when I used to do this, I used to have like a little calculator thing and I had to like go and look at the nutritional value and like put it all in. This is amazing. You just go boop and it tells you. I find myself quite often when I'm talking about this with people, I'm like, let me, let me get something, get so many points, dude. And we like get into doing it quite a lot. I need to get a life. <laughs> but um, that's how I tell how much stuff is. There's also, you get given little leaflets when you go to the groups and that will have like lists of points of food. Um, also, if something doesn't have a barcode like let's say an apple i can tell you already an apple is zero points but you can search food so they have like a search bit here look the last thing i searched was pop chips barbecue potato chips and a bag of those is three points um so it's not like you are having to flick through books all the time to work out how much something is um and the question went on to ask can you have a zero point meal? You definitely can, because most fruit and veg is zero points. 
um, chicken breast is zero points, a lot of fish is zero points, so you could have like a chicken salad um, if you wanted to, but I personally don't really have a lot of zero point meals because I like having the things that are points, so I just budget it so that I might have like a chicken salad but also with a jacket potato or um, a chicken salad but with potato waffles or something like that. So you, if you get to the end of the day and you are wanting to stay within your points bracket and you've eaten all the points, then yes, you can. there are still plenty of things that you can have that cost zero. Quite often for breakfast actually I'll have zero points because did you know that the Greek um, fat-free yoghurt, the one that says zero percent, that is zero, so I'll have that with like some berries um, and that old banana, banana's zero as well. I could talk about this phrase, I'm waffling on. I'm potato waffling on. Oh, oh, good question though, um, Megan. So our next question comes from Caroline and that is, how do you get started with WW? And I would say, go online and type in your location and it will tell you where your nearest meeting is. But then I noticed that a lot of the questions were along the lines of this one, which is from Emily, which is, are the meetings relaxed? I'm worried I will feel pressured to talk in front of a group. So once you've found where your meeting is, you don't have to book, you can just turn up to it. There'll be a wellness coach there. My lady is called Fiona. And you'll go in and there'll likely be some other people in there. Um, and you go in, you line up, you get weighed. You don't actually have to get weighed if you don't want to. There's some weeks where I just don't want to get weighed because I don't want to measure how the week's been in terms of my weight. Sometimes I measure how the week's been in terms of how I felt mentally, um, how my relationship with food and exercise and my body. Um, so sometimes I say to Fiona, oh, I'm having a wellness week and I'm not, I don't want to get weighed, I'm just not thinking about weight, but that is an option for you. They also have a table generally full of goodies, like WW merch. They have like snacks and cookbooks. This is the latest one actually. This is cook with five ingredients or fewer, plus your store cupboard essentials, which is ideal for me because um, cooking is not my strong suit. If I can do this and cooking is not my strong suit, anybody can. This one I'm really excited about because I have seen they have got a really huge veggie section. I'm not exclusively a vegetarian, but I do prefer the taste of vegetarian meals. So I'm pretty excited about this one. There was another one that I was using as well. If you go on my Instagram, I've just put up a little video that where I cooked with Marcus Waring from a different one, but this is the new one that I'm enjoying flicking through at the moment. I've waffled on again, it's because I get so excited about this, I've got so much to say. Yeah, so there's little goodies you can buy if you want to, you don't have to. So you'll sit down and then your wellness coach will come and join once she's done like greeting everyone and welcoming everybody. Um, and then there'll be a bit of a discussion about how you feel like the week has been and what we're going to do the week going forward. And there's always a topic or sort of a theme of discussion. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. If you're the kind of person that just wants to kind of sit back and listen to everybody else, that is absolutely fine. It's not like a go around the room and every person has to say everything because I think that would be really uncomfortable for some people. They're not designed to make you feel uncomfortable or to be like horrible experiences. They're meant to make you feel motivated and excited and positive. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to speak up, you absolutely don't have to. Also, and this isn't in my notes, I should just say, your wellness coach is never going to be cross at you. At the beginning with Fiona, I felt like, oh, maybe I've not done it well this week or maybe I've had a bad week. And then she was like, could you please stop feeling like this because I'm here to support you and you're a human being and you're living a normal human life and you're doing great, so please stop this. You're, even if you went in and you were like, you know what, I've, I've had 10 takeaways this week. Your wellness coach is not going to tell you off. They're just going to say, okay, how do you feel about that? Do you want to do that next week? Um, you know, did you enjoy it? Like, they're going to have a conversation with you and help you get the best out of you. So please don't ever worry about things like that because they're there for you. 
So our next question comes from Nunu and that is, how do you find eating out when following the plan? P.S. I think you're amazing. Well, P.S. Nunu, I think you're amazing. Thank you very much. Um, it's pretty easy to eat out when you're on the plan because the app has everything you would need to know. I'm going to just do a test. So I'm going to do search food. I'm going to put Wagamamas. You know how I love a Wagas. Um, and a Wagamama chicken ramen is nine points for one portion. So for most restaurants, um, it's going to be in there anyway. I suppose if you're going to like a very independent, tiny little bistro somewhere, it might not be. But you can look at the food and kind of work out what's what. Now that I know that chicken breast is zero, and I know that green vegetables are zero, and I know other, <laughs> I'm not giving a good example, am I? But now I know roughly what the points value is of most foods, you can kind of look at the menu and work it out and make a better choice. Or if you really wanted to, you could ask in the restaurant for the nutritional value of foods and then you could put it in manually into the app and it would come up and it would calculate the points value for you. So you never need to worry about eating out. I eat out quite a lot. I eat out because I enjoy it with my family, but also for work, I'm often on the go and like grabbing something as a go. So it's definitely very doable. Our next question comes from Jess and that is how do you keep the motivation up for tracking? So tracking means when you are taking note of the points that you are having each day. So for example, if I get 31 points a day, I need to be making sure throughout the day that I know how many points I'm eating. You could do that in your head if you wanted to, but that would be quite hard to remember it all, I think. Um, you can write it down, but I use the app. And how do I keep motivation up for doing it is I just really like doing it because I feel really satisfied when I see it all going in there. It all looks really neat. They have little compartments for, um, hang on, for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. You can see um, the amount used going up and the amount remaining going down so it works out all the maths for you. You don't have to like calculate it really. Um, and things like that float my boat. It's a bit like journaling or um, planners, things like that. It, it slots into that genre of like things that tickle my pickle. So I don't feel like I need motivation to track. I find tracking quite motivating. That question came from Jess, by the way. Our next question comes from Churley and she says, do you have any carb free cooking tips? Um, and my answer is no, because I don't ever want to cook without carbs because I love carbs. Um, I would say that you could go on the app and they have loads and loads of different recipe ideas. So you could look in there for inspiration. There's all the books, there's online. Um, also on the app, it's worth mentioning, there's a place called Connect. Um, I don't want to show it because I don't want to show other people's information, but it's a bit like Instagram, but just for people on WW so that might be a good place to get some inspiration on ask people on there um, and also that you have access to an online coach this isn't something I've actually used because I text my wellness coach Fiona you could ask your wellness coach as well but there's lots of ways to get the answer to that but I just don't want to live a life with carb free meals because I love carbs and they love me <laughs> So this next set of questions I would class under um, well-being and mentality um, and the first one comes from MK and that is what keeps you on WW and not losing control and then we also have from Millie how do you stop yourself feeling guilty about a cheat day and Iris who asks how do you motivate yourself after you have failed or given in um, and I will just say to you that I don't feel like I failed and nor should you I don't think that you should have a cheat day. There aren't things called cheat days on WW. Um, and I don't think that food is good or bad. What was some of the language used in these? Um, failed or given in just feels so negative. And it's taken me a long time to unlearn some of the things I've spent my life learning. For example, at the beginning of doing this, so back in the summer, I had a McDonald's and I said to Fiona, oh, I've been really bad, I've had a McDonald's. And she said, why have you been really bad? I said, well, because I had a McDonald's, because McDonald's is bad. And she said, why is McDonald's bad? And I said, well, because it's really high in points. And she was like, okay, but it's just food, isn't it? Food isn't good or bad. And I still couldn't get my head around it. I was like, yeah, but you know, it's junk food. You should be having something really healthy. 
and yes you start to learn really quickly which foods fill you up longer for example a Cadbury's flake I think is nine points but then also you could have like a whole meal for nine points so you start to work out which is the better option but anyway I'd really wanted a McDonald's and she said if you got Darcy a McDonald's would you say to her well, you've been really bad today, that was a bad food. And I was like, no, I would never say that to her, that's so damaging. But we say it to ourselves, we say food is bad or I've been good today or I've been bad today. Stop doing that. Just, every time you do that thing, would I say that to my child or my friend's child or someone else's child, would I say that? No, you wouldn't. Food is just food. There's some foods that are really, like, keep you full for longer, there's some foods that won't, There's chocolate it's just yummy chocolate but it's not really doesn't sustain you stop thinking about food as good or bad and then you stop feeling like you've failed or given in there's some weeks well there's lots of weeks actually on this where I don't lose weight in fact there's been a couple of weeks where I've put on a bit of weight and that's not a failure that's just living my life there's some weeks when it's really easy to prepare things and think ahead and like shop ahead and like make meals that I know are going to be like fit all into my points budget and there's sometimes weeks that aren't and if I were to be like oh I'm a failure then I'd give up and I would stop going forward and you're not a failure just living your normal life and you're adjusting your lifestyle nobody is perfect every week so I think the thing that I like about this is I don't ever feel like I'm a failure I've spent my whole life around this sort of thing feeling like I'm a failure like when I was little, you know, my parents would say, oh, you're fat and all this sort of stuff. None of that. You don't need that. That's not helpful to you. Um, just focus on the positive bits and keep going. That's the most important thing is to keep going with it because you might have had a week where you've not really stuck to your points, but next week you will do. So just keep going. Don't think of it as a failure or um, a cheat day. Cheat day, I don't like the idea of that because what are you cheating? What's the cheat of it? Um, yeah, I hope I've made my point clearly there. I feel quite passionately about that one. So MN asked, does it give you a workout plan or does it just help you with the things you're eating? And the answer is yes and no. So no, it doesn't give you a personalized workout plan, but it does, the app will connect to your like devices if you've got like a Fitbit or um, maybe the health thing on your phone, I'm not sure, because I've got a Fitbit if I want to connect it to it, so it can connect in your steps and you can put that all together with it. They also have a thing on there called Active, Get Active with Active, which I really like because it gives you little, like, little programs to do. They've got high intensity, medium intensity and low intensity, I think. Let me just check this. I know that I have just done the lower intensity, medium and higher, yes. Um, and they have all sorts of different things on there. There's like jog and run intervals. There's um, start getting stronger, walk to the beat. Um, and they all have like someone motivating, talking to you as you're doing it. So you put your headphones in and go out and it's really nice. And it will tell you, hang on, look. Put your head and shoulders off the floor. So that's nice. I like doing that one. I've only tried the lower intensity ones, but maybe I'll give a medium intensity one. It also tells you how long they are, which I like. So the, um, here we go. Find your strength, walk and strength in medium intensity is 24 minutes and 19 seconds. And I like knowing how long things are because then I know that it's coming to an end and I feel more capable of doing it. It's worth noting as well that you can also add in the exercise that you've done. So for example, if you've gone for a swim or you've played badminton, it has that on there so you can just add that on um, and then that will track that for you as well. So this is the second to last question that I'm going to answer because I know I've been talking for a long time. If you are still watching, leave the code word JOY in the comments and I'll be sure to try and give it a little heart, love heart. Um, but this question comes from Jen and this is a topic that I saw flash up a couple of times in the questions and that is, do you feel like dieting contradicts body positivity? Um, and there's two things I'll say to that. Number one, I don't feel like I'm on a diet. WW is not a diet, it is a lifestyle program. I wouldn't do a diet in my 10 years, well, nine and a half years of being online. I have never promoted a diet, I've never been on a diet, I've never talked about dieting because just the word dieting <laughs> just sounds so depressing, like, oh, what a diet, makes it sound like 
Oh, it just reminds me of when I was little and my mum used to say, oh, I'm on a diet if someone ever said to her, do you want this or do you want that? And I thought, diets sound rubbish. So I'm not on a diet and I would not advise anyone is on a diet because it just sounds like the least fun. So I'll alter the question. Do you feel like being on WW contradicts body positivity? No, I don't. If I did, I wouldn't be sat here telling this huge audience that I am in support of this. At the beginning of the video, I talked about how everyone has their thresholds and I had just gone beyond mine, but I would never look at a woman who was my size or smaller than me or bigger than me, or a man by the way, and think, oh, their body is horrible. I think that you have got to feel good in your own body and I want my body to feel good to me and it wasn't. And I tried to think of it like this. I go to the salon and have my hair done in a curly blow because I love my hair and I want my hair to look lovely and feel lovely and sit just how I want it to sit. And that's not anything against my hair positivity because I'm going to a salon and having it all shushed up and made nice. And that's how I see this. I'm shushing myself up and making myself feel nice. Um, and I'm not looking to drastically alter my whole body. I'm just looking to fit into my clothes that I fit in before I fell pregnant with Pearl, which I'm almost doing now. I want to feel energetic because I want to use my whole day and not have that slump. I want to know more about food. I used to go to supermarkets and think, oh, I don't know what meals to put together. I found it difficult to meal plan. I found meal times really stressful, thinking, oh, like every day, like, oh, what am I gonna cook today? Whereas now, if I'm on my game, I've planned out my meals in advance. And I just wanted to feel well. I wanted to feel fit and strong. And I don't think that I feel fit and strong yet. There's a long way to go in terms of fitness, but I'm definitely, definitely going in the right direction. And I feel good about my body. Um, and that's what I wanna promote. I wanna promote other people feeling good in themselves. Um, so yeah, I hope that's answered that because that's another one that I feel really strongly about. Um, and I hope that I've answered that well. So one of the questions that I have been asked the most and one of the questions that I have been most reluctant actually to answer throughout this whole journey is how much weight have you lost? The reason that I have been reluctant to talk about it is because I don't want to make the focus about weight as I've talked about before, it's about well-being and all and you know food prep and strength and positive body image and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I've been asked a lot and I feel happy to tell you that I have lost 30 pounds it has wavered. I've got to a point now where I'm quite happy and so I don't really feel like I'm looking to lose weight. I'm just sort of like, oh, this is quite nice. I'm happy as I am. Um, but I am finding that as I have weeks where I'm eating really healthily, then obviously I do lose a little bit of weight because I am overweight. Um, I do have a high BMI. Um, I'm a size 18 to 20 now, but when I started, I was like a 22, sometimes a very just the 24 in jeans um, and now I'm fitting into my size 20 jeans again which I'm really happy about. I would really like to be in my 18s and 16s because they're all the clothes I've got in the loft that I would like to get out and wear because I look freaking fantastic in them. Um, but they, those are that's the answer to that question. I don't really have anything deeply inspiring to say about that. That's just the answer that it is. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. If there are any more questions that you have, leave them below because I'd be more than happy to do another video like this in a few months um, or weeks or whatever. I hope I've done a good job of this. I always feel a bit scared to make these videos because it's such a sensitive topic, isn't it? Like what people eat, what families eat, um, how people see their bodies and health and food, I think is quite, um, is, is a topic that like hits home quite a lot with a lot of people. So I hope that I've done this justice and I will see you all soon for another fantastic video. Thanks for watching, bye.